Hello, everybody. This is Ione Singleton, a.k.a. T-Dog from The Walking Dead, and you are listening to Dispatch Radio with my main man, Brandon. All right, folks, I want to talk about a new film that's going to drop at the uh, Gasparilla Film Festival. So if you're listening to the Tampa Bay, Sarasota area here live, you definitely want to plug in, find out uh, about that when it airs. If you're listening to us online, we'll try to link to some of that information. The film is actually called Leaves of the Tree, and it is uh, starring Armando Sante, Eric Roberts, Sean Young, a great cast, and we get to talk to one of the creators who's on with us now, Ante Novakovic. And I don't think Beautiful. I butchered his name. Oh, I got it that time. All right. I, I'm <laughs> trying my best. I did wow. premiere over at the uh, Sonoma Film Festival, and we want to talk about this. And Ante, thank you so much for fitting this into your schedule. Oh, thank you so much for having me, man. Fantastic. And uh, let, let's, for, let's just start with some of the basics here. Talk to everybody a little bit about Leaves of the Tree. Okay, so it's a story about a dying man's journey to discover uh, the miracle of these medicinal leaves of a mystical tree that lives, exists in a remote part of Sicily. Uh, you know, it's been kept a secret for a long while, and it's a journey that starts at a pharmaceutical company and winds up with the an order of priests coming to kind of preserve the mystery of this quote-unquote miracle. A lot of different points of view there. We got the, you know, big pharma and the church and, you know, whether it's a miracle or not, a lot of different things. And an incredible cast, by the way. I mean, you really got to pull together an amazing team. And it is, uh, you know, they've had uh, great success in the past with short films. And, you know, what about this one uh, do you feel people will come away with that is uh, so incredibly unique? Well, I think that it, it evokes the question of, you know, if and when we realize there are still miracles out there or if there is a part of the world that we believe, you know, can have a source of a miracle, let's say, what do we do with it? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, the common day, we know everything, you know, uh, you know, we're interconnected 24 hours a day. So there's very little unknown, you know, so it kind of explores our minds, the fields of, you know, when we go towards, that which we don't know, what do we do with it? Do we try to possess it? Do we try to keep it a secret? Do we share it? You know, so. And I think many of us of faith that have talked about, uh, you know, if we had uh, things that were happening in our, in our holy book today, it'd be on CNN, we'd probably have this exact same thing, right? We'd have big corporation figuring out how to exploit it. We'd have a religious group that <laughs> try to denounce it. We'd have uh, <laughs> followers one way or the other. We'd have skeptics right. disproving it. And we'd have some guy right. who'd try to blame the aliens. Yep, that's all. There you go. And we have, yes, and we have a conspiracy theory, and it goes on and on. You know, it opens up all the doors. It opens up all the because it's it's you know it it threads through that kind of idea that you know we need you know sometimes we need answers that are given to us, and sometimes we hope for answers that are, you know aren't there yet to be realized. You know, kind of thing. So it kind of gets into the psyche of is there? You know, it kind of pulls that line of. Can there be something more? Is there something other? Is there a power greater than itself? So, Ante, as you're putting this together and, you know, you, you commit to go to the next level, obviously, from writing to producing to the directing, and you're putting together this cast, um, speak a little bit to that process. And, uh, you know, I mean, these are these are huge names that you got attached to this uh, short film. Uh, it's a feature film. And... Oh, it's a feature film. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a feature film. Yes. It's oh, a feature man. film. And, uh, yeah, I know. It'd be more impressive if it was a short film. We got. I'm like, wow, this is incredible. I can't wait to I see it. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Well, you know, what usually happens is I usually get a, uh, I get a little screener, and I didn't get a screener, so I thought, well, it was a short oh, film. Wow. And, and you guys have such a great, great history with short films with what you did with The Fix, so that's why I thought, oh, my gosh. So, well, congratulations on a, on a very successful feature with such big names. This is, this is even more exciting for me. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been, uh, I mean, the, you know, everyone's brought along. I mean, every... Every person that was cast uh, from Federico Castellucio, Sean Young, Eric Roberts, Armand Sante, I mean, they all bring a unique quality. They're all incredible professionals, and, uh, you know, they bring so much to the role and everything they do. Every moment of the film, they kind of, you know, it was a joy. It was a joy to work with them. It was kind of, uh, it was a kind of, um, a group experience in one sense because it was it was a big cast there was a lot of people a lot of characters a lot of storylines but it all came together seamlessly you know that's amazing that's great to hear and yeah. it's uh yeah. an exciting story it's a film that is called leaves of the tree and it is definitely going to be 
uh, playing here in, uh, well, it's premiering at the Sonoma Film Festival that I, I have listed as March 26th. And the Gasparilla Film Festival has it on its schedule for Saturday. So you definitely want to make sure you can check that out, especially if you're here locally. You're going to be planning to head over there, as many of us are, and try to catch some of the films. And, you know, as you um, look back now, Ante, as you look back on this, you've transitioned from, like a, we were talking about the short film, now to have a feature like this. And, and such in the, something that's so, I don't know, powerful in, in, in this different perspectives. Uh, what has changed you, you know, as a writer, as a director, you know, as a creator, you know, what, what has changed? You've come out the other side of this and how much will you look back on leaves of the tree and say, man, I, I really got this out of that. Well, yeah, I think, um, you know, the fortitude of, of being able to tell, tell a fuller story, you know, obviously the difference, obviously between short film and feature film is, you know, it, it's, it's a three act structure and going into that, you know, coming to realize that the through line has to be in every frame of the scene, uh, you know, throughout the film, you know, kind of everything that's done supports the through line, you know, so it really kind of changes the visual, the visual dynamic of, of making a film, you know, it becomes so important. Every scene has to facilitate the storyline has to move it forward. I, I don't find that I had the luxury to kind of, meander through anything i had to kind of make choices move quickly with with the ideas that were presented were there any uh any nightmares that you'd share with me any any sort of like oh man this really kind of fell apart we had to do some serious damage control and i'm I'm blessed to have so-and-so with me to help me rescue me from this um not i mean there wasn't a, we you know when you go to locations you know you come into a, a bunch of different situations like we we shot in sicily and uh one of the things that we found, we were able to get a lot of these old, uh, you know, they would be like government, you know, uh, locations as far as not government locations, but like old coliseums and, you know, very protected areas of, you know, uh, you know, historical, historical note, you know, we were able to get those locations without a problem. Uh, when we had to film at someone's home, that became a challenge, you know, wow. like people weren't as used to having film crews in their towns and, you know, so it wasn't exactly like we could just go to anyone's home and be like, Hey, we'll offer you this amount and we're going to be shooting for the next four or five days. It might be more common in other places. There was a challenge. <laughs> we got these like amazing costumes for nothing. People were like, here, you know, shoot here anytime you want. When it came to people's homes, it got a little bit more involved and that became a little more tricky. So that's one of the things Getting some of the locations became a little bit more, more of a test. Yeah, people always talk about uh, the difficulty of shooting away from a stage and uh, being able to have that control and give that control up, and uh, it definitely can be challenging. And you know, Ante, I want to kind of reflect a little bit because you've got a couple of little high notes uh, that people would definitely find of interest, and that is, you know, you really began began your career. You worked alongside uh, Harvey Keitel as his assistant, and then of course, uh, you know, more recently, uh, Colin Farrell and. You know, mm -hmm. t talk a little bit about Harvey, because Harvey plays <laughs> some pretty brash, if for lack of a uh, kinder adjective, you know, in some of these roles he's played, obviously Reservoir Dogs and From Dust Till Dawn and some of these kinds of things. I know you kind of actually worked on him, I think, with uh, From Dust Till Dawn. And yeah. what, what, what's Harvey really like? Let's start there. Uh, he's, uh, you know, very committed, very committed to his craft. You know, he was always a uh, big big uh, advocate for the actor studio out of New York and, uh, you know, very much uh, focuses on his craft. When he's working, he's all about the project he's working on. And, uh, you know, he kind of really takes care of himself as he goes along. Maybe quiet during a shoot uh, in order to kind of keep himself focused and focused on the material he's dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but a lovely guy, you know, down to earth in the sense that I guess when I when I started working with him, I was kind of freshly out of the Bronx, let's put it that way, and uh, he was born and raised in Brooklyn, so it was kind of shorthand between us. We were able to kind of communicate in in that way, being from the boroughs, shared experience kind of quality. Um, but a lovely, lovely guy, very insightful, uh, you know, and very generous too. I always found him to be very giving with other actors, like. A great example was always when, you know, they do one side of a scene where they have, like, let's say Harvey's in the scene, and they do his side, and then they do maybe the other side of 
a day player who has three lines that he changes with Harvey in that scene, Harvey would always be there for the off camera, you know? Mm-hmm. And that, I always found that as an incredibly generous and very, you know, grounded, present awareness to be there for the other person. It wasn't just about his side of things. So Right, right. Yeah. Well, contrast that with working with Colin then. You, see, you know, uh, what can you say about him? Lovely. Salt of the earth. Um, you know, I got incredibly lucky. I, you know, both quality people, there are a lot of, uh, there's a resemblance in their character for me. I don't know if I've become parents to most people, but uh, again, someone that takes their work very seriously, very focused, com- completely professional, but a lovely yep. human being. Yeah. You know? So give everybody a little insight, too, because some people may not even really quite understand the magnitude of this and how much an assistant does and how much of this kind of works going on behind the scenes. And you've, you've been on some big films. And most recently, obviously, the, that I had listed was uh, Saving uh, Mr. Banks, which is obviously a big, big, big Disney production, that kind of thing. So how much stuff are you juggling to keep the star's role, you know, moving? Uh, it depends. You know, it depends on the given project. Some projects ask for more. You know, like let's say a Total Recall would have, you know, put more of a, uh, for Colin specifically, would put more of a physical stress on, on mm-hmm. every aspect of more of an action film. So you'd have to kind of be aware of the fact that, you know, um, making sure all the nutrition is there, making sure, you know, that all the facets are covered, you know, on a right. day in, day out working basis. You know, other productions are not as intricate, let's put it that way. Sure. They're kind of ebbs and flows, you know. But, uh, Schedule wise, when things get busy, yeah, it hits. It's like everything comes at you at once. Travel, everything. You know? All right, so we're going to continue to wrap up here with Leaves of the Tree and the coverage, folks. It's going to be over at the Gasparilla Film Festival on Saturday. You don't want to miss that. It will be airing and premiering over at the Sonoma Film Festival on Thursday as well. And, you know, Ante, as you, you kind of, you know, put this now into promotion mode and you kind of get the word out there on this, uh, this film and really get to see it kind of grow legs of its own and that kind of thing. Uh, what, what, what's ahead for you next? Uh, what's next is, uh, doing another project with my brother crash, uh, that we're producing the, together. I'm directing, uh, he'll act in called the fix. Uh, it's based off the short film that we had done previously a few years back. So expanding uh, it into a uh, feature. Well, actually it worked the other way around with the fix. We had the feature length script. And then we uh, kind of shrunk it down to a short at a certain point because I was always asked the question from producers and other people that I was going out to with the with the storyline, what is it going to look like, sound like, and feel like? So I just went back, <laughs> centrifuge the script down to its essence, and uh, shot the short so I could present it as this is what it's going to sound like, look like, and feel like kind of thing. Um, so it worked in reverse. So we we always had the feature length script. And uh, we're going to production on that this summer. Very exciting times. We know it did very well. It was uh, very well received. Best short film in four different film festivals. So we look forward to seeing the fix as a feature. And uh, uh, great work ahead for Ante and his brother Crash. So we appreciate you uh, talking with us, my friend. Thank you so much, Brandon.